Welcome to how to dominate this crazy hot seller's market low inventory that we're experiencing right now. When I title this webinar, obviously I'm thinking about what do you need to be doing right now between now and the end of 2021 to dominate your income, to control your income and control your business and sell a lot of homes. And I wanna give you this disclosure before I even start. Everything that I'm gonna share with you today will get you to dominate your market no matter what the market is doing, okay? This is, this. I actually put these points together specifically for this hot seller's market, low inventory. But this is gonna give you control of your real estate business no matter what is going on. I already mentioned before I started recording and I wanna say it again. For those of you who are here now, have a pen and paper handy, make some notes. And if you miss anything, this will be on my YouTube channel. So go subscribe Jackie Kravitz on YouTube. And there are a lot of other great videos there for you as well. So this is a seven month plan. This is a, a business plan for the rest of your real estate career. And when you choose to follow this plan, you will be able to dominate your market. So I want to start by, I'm going to give you 12 points, okay? But I want to start by defining for you. When I say dominate this hot seller's market, dominate your market, what do I mean by that? How do we know, right? So this is what it looks like. My definition of dominating your market is for each and every one of you to be able to set one qualified listing appointment per day, Monday through Friday, and take the weekends off, okay? So one qualified listing appointment set per day. How is that gonna give you market domination? Hear me out. I'm gonna break this down for you. You set five qualified listing appointments per day, Monday through Friday. In one month, out of all of these appointments, you take 16 listings, okay? They're qualified, there's, there's a caveat there. They have to be qualified. You take 16 listings. We're gonna be really conservative here and say out of the 16, eight will sell, which in this market, probably 15 will sell or all 16 will sell. But let's just be really conservative. And if you say, well, you know, of course more than eight will sell. Okay, well, when the market changes, you will have more expired listings. I trust not because no, there's not a single seller out there that will ever list with you expecting the listing to expire. So your job is to take listings and your responsibility is to get them sold. But let's keep going. 16 listings taken per month. Eight listings sold per month times 12 months. That's 96 listings sold times a conservative average commission of $7,000. That is, I'm looking at my iPad, okay, I have notes. That's $672,000 in income, GCI, for you in one year. For every listing that you sell, you can count on having a buyer sale. Now, these buyers, they're going to come to you as a result of the listings you have. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy leads. You don't have to pay anybody. You take listings, the buyers will come, okay? Listings are the best source of the highest quality buyers. So now you have 96 listings sold, 672,000. You have 96 buyer sales, which you are going to 
you're going to refer them out. You're going to give it to a buyer's agent. You're going to have, you're not going to be working with buyers because the moment you start working with buyers, it takes time away from what you need to be doing, which is getting listings. Okay. So we'll talk about that. So now let's just take these buyer sales, 96 of them, again, conservative average commission of 7,000, that's 672,000, but you're gonna split that 50-50 with a buyer's agent, which again, the 50% is conservative. You should get more than that when you have this kind of business. So the buyer side of the, the deals will bring you 336 thousand dollars plus 672 from the listings that is one million eight thousand dollars a year i call that market domination some of you have a much higher average commission so it could be double that it could be triple that and all of this happens as a result of you setting one qualified listing appointment per day. That should be your mantra. That should be your number one affirmation. You should become obsessed with setting one qualified listing appointment per day, Monday through Friday. And that's market domination. And that's a million dollar a year job right there or more. So I have a question it's not a rhetorical question, even though all of you are muted, so you won't be able to answer, but I do want you to write it down and answer it for yourself. Can you generate these results that I just told you? One qualified listing appointment per day, 16 listings taken, eight sold, that $1,008,000 a year in GCI. Can you make this happen without changing your current behavior? For most of you, the answer is no. So can you, can you, can you do this without knowing how long you've been in real estate, what you've been through, your life story and what's going on? I don't care. Every one of you can do this, but not without changing your behavior. And this is really important to change your behavior. You have to change your thinking. Now, I'm going to give you 12 points. I already said that. Here's point number one. And this is the first point, the first thinking that you need to change is point number one. It doesn't matter what happens in the real estate market. The only thing that matters is what's happening in your head. And that's a, that's a new thinking because many of, many of you, many real estate agents, they're just always looking like, oh, what's happening? There's no inventory, there are no listings, what do I do? None of it matters. And by the time we're done with these 12 points, you're going to get a clear picture of this. So the only thing that matters is what's going on in your head. Do you believe that you can personally take 16 listings per month, set one qualified listing appointment per day and take 16 listings per month? Do you believe that you personally, without assistance, ISAs, prospectors, just you, do you believe you can do that? You have to believe that you can. Highlight that, write that and highlight it because if you don't believe that you can, you won't. the conversation in your head has to change or your business won't change. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking, okay, well, uh, I don't quite believe it. How do I get myself to believe it? Okay, so here's how. I'm gonna tell you how, okay? Ready? Bombard your 
brain with powerful, positive, motivational, inspirational ideas 24 seven. That's how you're gonna get yourself to believe it. So what do I mean by bombard your brain? Read inspirational books, listen to them on Audible. Watch and listen to inspirational, motivational videos. Everything that you can find, okay, that will inspire and motivate you. Set inspiring goals for yourself. I'm going to talk about a little bit more about this later. Have your inspiring goal, not just any goal that you don't care about. A goal that you don't care about is totally meaningless. What are you really, really inspired by that you desire to achieve? Have it in front of you at all times. Create a dream board. Look at it every day. Again, reading, listening. This is what I do. I started 25 years ago and I got a real estate license and I don't stop. It's like audible and it's always the same. It's all mindset stuff, 24-7. You could even sleep with it. Here's why this is so important for you to get yourself to believe that you can do this. Because if you don't bombard your brain with positive stuff, by default, you're bombarding your brain with negativity every day. That's just the default mode of the world. So you have to take the initiative to put positive stuff in here because otherwise it's going to be filled with negative stuff. It's not, it's not your fault. It's just the way things are. Point number two. To make a million dollars a year, which is market domination right now for the next seven months or any time, you have to accept the fact that real estate is a sales job. Change in thinking here. I don't know what you think real estate is. But it is a sales job. You're not going to make a million dollars a year if you think it's anything else. And because it is a sales job, you have to learn how to sell. And you have to also find people that you can sell to every day. That's it. And when I say sell to in real estate, what is it that you sell? Obviously, you're selling someone's home. But for that homeowner to choose to list with you, you're selling yourself. Point number three, three, I go two, but it's three. You have to take massive action daily. We're talking about a million dollars a year. <laughs> not gonna do that by, you know, doing whatever you want whenever you wanna do it. So taking massive action daily, but not just any action, because some of you are here and you're thinking, wait, I work 10 hours a day. I'm taking action. I'm not like, you know, sitting on the beach all day long. I'm working. I'm moving, I'm doing stuff. The question is, are you involved in the right actions? And what is the right action? Write this down. The actions that give you the highest return on your investment of time and money. What is the ROI? of the actions you're taking because you want to spend time on what gives you the highest return on your investment and taking massive and consistent action requires discipline what kind of discipline discipline to follow a 
schedule. I'm going to give you your schedule here today. I'm going to tell you exactly from the morning till you go home what to do. Discipline to follow the schedule because what good is it to have it? I'm going to give it to you, but like who doesn't have a schedule? Most real estate agents do. Having a schedule and following a schedule are two completely different things. So follow your schedule and be proactive, not reactive. And this proactive and reactive, you know, this distinction here is really, and I'm going to make it really clear to you right now in point number four, what that is, what activities, what actions you want to be involved in that have the highest R. OI for you because most real estate agents are reactive. Oh, I got an email. They want, oh, it's a, it's a buyer lead. Okay, let me call the buyer lead right now. Whatever comes up. Oh, you got a, you have a sign call. Okay, great. I answer the phone. Oh, I want to see this house right now. Sure, I'm on my way. Reactive. Point number four. Spend 80% of your time on income producing activities. Those are the activities that give you the highest return on your investment of time and money. And this is the massive action that I'm talking about. What are the income producing activities for you? Income producing, things you do that make you money. Number one, there are four of them. Number one, prospect for listings highest return on your investment of time number two follow up on your leads obsessively number three go on listing presentations and number four negotiate contracts those are the activities that make you money. Now, on the other side of these income producing activities are the income servicing activities because you got other stuff to do. I'm sure you're sitting there thinking, well, okay, this sounds great, but you know, who's gonna respond to emails? Who's gonna attend home inspections and closings and buyers? Not you. Okay, so I said spend 80% of your time on the income producing activities. That gives you 20% of your time to spend on, you choose now, whatever, everything else, okay? You got 20% of your time allotted for it. Stop wasting time and money on social media, on buying leads. Why? That keeps you dependent on outside sources to generate income for yourself. You're dependent on outside sources that you have no control over. When you develop the skills and the mindset to generate business. When you're prospecting for listings, when you're obsessive about following up, when you have a great listing presentation, when, you, when you're a great negotiator, even the negotiating, you could hire an agent and delegate that. But when you learn the skills and the mindset to generate business, to set a qualified listing appointment per day, you, I wrote it down. I want to read it to you though, exactly the way I wrote it down. And you should write it down. You become the source of your business versus whatever else you might be doing and buying leads or wherever you're spending your time on that you have no control over. You become the source of your business and never again will you have to worry about the market changing the leads not coming in the leads not converting into a sale never again you're in control 
it's worth every effort and every moment you put into mastering this, okay? So, but now, what about the buyers? I already mentioned it, I'm gonna say it again. Get a showing assistant, hire a buyer's agent, refer the buyers and get a referral fee. You, if, and you have, to be, you have to do this if you're gonna be a great listing agent and dominate your market. Because if you're running around showing properties to buyers, even if they are ready, willing, and able buyers, Right now, with low inventories, which is what's happening in most parts of the country, you could have a ready, willing, and able buyer and show them properties and, and property after property having multiple offers is, oh, yeah, well, you could explain the buyers and they could, yeah, you could do a lot of that. Listen, put your effort into listings. That's going to give you market domination no matter what's going on with the market. Point number five, master your morning and your morning is from the moment you open your eyes in the morning when you wake up in the morning until noon master that part of your day when you master your morning do whatever you want in the afternoon okay after 12 i'm gonna give you a schedule but that is the single most important part of your day. And from the moment you open your eyes in the morning until noon, there are only three activities that you will be involved in. The number one activity is working on your mindset, strengthening your mindset, affirmations, reading books, listening, watching videos, mindset, mindset, reviewing your goals. Number two, second activity, improving your skills working on your skills and the third activity prospecting for listings those are the only three things you do until noon no social media no emails no distractions none this is a million dollar morning right here million dollar a year morning and for some of you you might have to lock yourself up somewhere, like put a deadbolt and have somebody lock you out from the outside where you can't go anywhere in the space you're in. The only thing you can do is prospect. There's so many distractions. You got to let your family, your clients, your ag other agents in the office, staff in your office, you got to let everybody know, hey, this is what I'm up to until noon. Don't knock on my door. Don't call. Don't text. That's what you're doing. You're prospecting for listings. Well, how about buyers? Look, you're, you gotta, what you, you get what you expect. You gotta focus on listings. Will you find buyers? Will you get referrals for buyers? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna happen, but that's not what you're after. You're after listings. Now, I said three activities. Mindset, skills, prospect. All of the time and energy you spend to improve your skills, to strengthen your mindset, to become a great prospector. Here's how it doesn't matter what's going on in the market. It only matters what's going on in your head. Your mindset and your skills are yours forever. Do you get that? They're yours forever. And they're going to make you a fortune in a buyer's market, in a seller's market, in Seattle, in New York, in Miami, in Texas. I don't care where you go. You take your mindset and your skills with you. It doesn't matter what's going on out there. Do you see what I'm saying? You're starting to understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Point number six. Follow a schedule that produces predictable results, on-demand results in this market or any other market. So here's your schedule Monday through Friday. It starts at 7.15 a.m. 
I don't know why it's not seven. I don't know. That's how I wrote it. Okay. So from 7.15 a.m. till 8.15, you're working on your mindset. You got one hour. You're bombarding your brain. You're going to bombard your brain 24-7, but this is like goal time mindset. 8.15 till 8.30, you have 15 minutes to prepare the phone numbers, who you're going to be dialing. And I didn't write it down, but this just came to my mind. Every day, every morning before you start making your calls, you should have four to 500 phone numbers in front of you. So you take 15 minutes to prepare. 8.30 to 9, you're going to practice and role play your scripts. 9 till noon, you're going to prospect for one qualified listing appointment. And, and secondary goal, you're going to make 30 contacts between 9 a.m. and noon. At 12, you have an hour for lunch. At one o'clock, you come back and you have 30 minutes for lead follow-up. 1.30 to 2.30, administrative work. 2.30 to 5.30, go on appointments, negotiate contracts. And if you don't have either one, prospect more. That's your million dollar schedule. Point number seven, take responsibility for how people respond to you when you're prospecting. Oh, I'm making calls, but they're saying this and that, and they're giving me this objection, and they're did 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 did. Okay, take responsibility for how they're responding to you. Communication is not what you say; it's what people hear. You are responsible for what people hear. And as you are prospecting, you either win, meaning you set an appointment, or you learn. You have to have that attitude. That's the million dollar attitude. Because if you either win or learn, otherwise, if you're not learning every time somebody hangs up on you, you will be the walking definition of insanity. Hearing the same objections every day because you're, you're, it's, it's the same. It's the same objections. Oh, everybody you talk to have a friend in real estate. I'm not selling anymore. Fizbo, I don't want to pay a commission. It's all the same. Every day, every day, every day. And you don't, you're not learning and you're not getting better. And every day you don't know what to say and you get hung up on. I mean, insanity for sure. Okay, there's just no other way to describe that. Work every day to develop the skills of a powerful communicator. You are in the business of communicating, being able to influence people to take action. That's what great communicators do. Point number eight. You are in the business of rejection. I, I use that word rejection, even though it's not really, but real estate agents think like, oh, and people hang up on me. You know, I feel like rejected. They don't want to do business. So we're going to use the term reject. Although, I mean, to feel rejected by a complete stranger that you're never going to talk to again, I hear just there's a little bit of too much ego involved in that, but okay. You're in the business of rejection. The more people that hang up on you, the more money you make. How is that? There is no real estate agent in this country, okay, that exists, that sets an appointment with everyone that they talk to. It doesn't exist, okay? Doesn't matter who it is and how good they are. So you got to get used to the fact that it's going to, a lot of people are going to hang up on you. And Every no gets you closer to a yes. How about that attitude? How about the attitude of the only no that counts is the last one before you quit? Number nine, motivated sellers are looking for a 
confident, knowledgeable, aggressive agent. You know, this is all for that million dollars a year. Motivated seller. A motivated seller is someone who has to sell or really wants to sell their house. They're not looking for oh, super nice, you know, I want to be your best friend and oh, I love your, oh, I love your paintings. They're beautiful. Oh, you have a dog and you're like, what? Heck no. Someone who wants to sell their home, they're looking for knowledge, experience, confidence. Even if you don't have experience, if you're new, you could be very confident, knowledgeable, and aggressive. And aggressive is not pushy. I, you know, I use this word aggressive with a lot of caution. I remember when I first started into real estate, uh, hearing the word aggressive and thinking, oh no, I don't want to be like that. I would never, oh no. Like I had the impression that it meant pushy. I mean, who wants to be pushy, right? No one and nobody likes to, to be involved in that. No, aggressive is, and I made this up, okay? Pushy is very needy, desperate, ego. Like I need, oh my God, I'm so desperate. I need a commission check. Oh, I need a listing. I'm broke. I need to pay my bills desperate so you come across it's all about you so they don't see like okay why should i list with you aggressive is believing that hiring you is the best decision any homeowner can make and if they don't hire you they're making a mistake and every everything you say there's they hear the benefit for them in working with you and when they do they will and you're aggressive because you're not going to allow them to make the mistake of listing with anyone else. So now motivated sellers are looking for knowledgeable, confident, aggressive agent. What about objections? And I'm still leaving this in point number nine for you, okay? Well, when you prospect, especially if you're, you speak with the hottest prospects ever expired and for sale by owners, they have a lot of objections, right? Their objections are an opportunity for you. You know why it's an opportunity? Because they're giving you an objection instead of just hanging up. When they hang up, your opportunity is over unless you call them back, which you can. But if they're saying, no, I'm not selling anymore, they're still there, they're waiting for you, it's an opportunity. When they give you an objection, I don't care what the objection is. Bring me a buyer, I'll pay you a commission. I don't want to pay a commission. I sold Fisbo before. My mother is a real estate agent. I'm going to enlist with the neighborhood specialist. I don't care. Oh, another agent said they'll cut their commission. What they're really doing when they give you that objection is they're on the other end of the phone subconsciously thinking, Go ahead, say something, say something that will convince me that you are the right agent, that convince me that meeting with you is not going to be a waste of my time. Go ahead, say something. That's really what they're doing. And it goes back to what I said a few minutes ago. You're not the walking definition of insanity, are you? You're learning. You're not hearing all these objections, same ones handful of them from expireds, handful of them from FISBOs every day and not knowing what to say. Master, three things you got to master to make a million dollars a year. Handling objections, closing, and your listing presentation. That's it. That's, that will make you not one million, that'll make you millions handle objections, close and present. How about the FISBO objection? I decided to put this in here because I know when we send the invitation for the webinar, it's like, what are FISBOs? You know, what's the secret to listing FISBOs? Okay, here you go. FISBO objection. Well, I don't want to pay a commission. They don't see the value in paying your commission. That's why they don't want to do it. Okay. That is the secret. 
to listing Facebooks, not wasting your time previewing Facebooks or, well, can I bring you a buyer? Like we're talking about prospecting for what listings, we're talking about a million dollar job. That's not going to be previewing Facebooks and wasting your time. Value. Fizbos will list their home with the first agent who can show them that their commission is an investment, not an expense. They see it as an expense. It's, got, it's, cost, it's, it's a cost. You need to show them the value. So since this is not a Fizbo webinar, I invite you to go to my YouTube channel and search for, there's a playlist for webinars. There's five different ones there now, and there'll be more added, obviously, including this one. And there's one title, How to List Fizzbos Now. Watch it. Because okay? I expand on this value conversation, because that is how you list Fizzbos now. That is how I listed 100 Fizbos a year in a hot market, just like this one, for several years. Point number 10. Ooh. If you are not uncomfortable, you are not learning, growing, or getting better. If you just want to do the things that make you feel good. Now, I'm not saying, you know, we're not talking about, this is not torture. We're talking about prospecting for listings, okay? And most of you don't like doing it. You don't enjoy doing it, blah, blah, blah. Now we're talking about a million dollars a year. Right now, it's gonna have, to, again, change of behavior, change of thinking. You have to embrace discomfort. Yeah, it's going to be hard. You know, I have, I have clients, sales extreme. Well, oh, prospecting is hard. Okay. Everything is hard before it's easy. Everything is hard before it's easy. When you learn how to walk, it was hard before it was easy. When you learn how to read and write, it was hard before it was easy. Everything is hard before it's easy. This is just another one. Except this one, there's a lot of money on the line for you. In the words of the toughest man alive, David Goggins, if you go, if you Google toughest man alive, his name pops up, David Goggins. He wrote a book called Can't Hurt Me. And thanks to my friend Ayo, I found out that there's a clean version of this book. So go buy it on Amazon, the clean version, because the regular one he uses a lot of language. Because it's like a sailor, he keeps on getting it, but that's okay. <laughs> amazing, like amazing. I mean, for me, one of the best mindset books I've ever read. So in the words of David Goggins, I'm going to read a quote from him here. The reason it's important to push yourself, push through the discomfort when you want to quit the most is because it helps you callous your mind, strengthen your mindset. It's the same reason why you have to do your best work when you are the least motivated. Wow. Listen, this book is just amazing. This guy's a beast. That is how you develop discipline and mental toughness you don't develop discipline and mental toughness strengthen your mindset by only doing the things that you are comfortable with oh not gonna happen and there's another quote i love this is not a david goggins quote this is a harvey dorfman quote um self-discipline is a form of freedom now i'm not gonna read the whole quote but the last line on this quote Discipline makes you a master of rather than a slave to your thoughts and emotions. Discipline, mental toughness. You don't develop that by just, oh, but I don't like doing that. Like, who cares? Okay, we're talking about a million dollars a year. Point number 11. Know 
what you want. Find something that you want, that you're willing to do anything to get it. This is what Napoleon Hill calls burning desire. You got to figure out what that is. Because otherwise, it's going to be easy to, oh, but I don't feel like it. I mean, when, when you have something that you want to achieve and you want it badly enough and you're willing to do anything to get there, to achieve it, that's it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter if you like it, don't like it, if you're comfy, you feel good, don't feel good. You just you just do what you set out to do. And when I say burning desire and figuring out what you want, it does I'm not talking about what's the purpose of your life, okay? No, I'm just talking about pick something. And it doesn't have to be a big why, because that's daunting. Oh my good big why. A little why will do a little why just pick something okay that you really 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 want and it could be who you want to become it could be something material you want to have it could be it could be a vacation it could be a home it could be a car it could be i don't know what it is you have to for everybody it's going to be different you got to figure that out quote for you a man without a, the quote says purpose. I'm going to use goal, you know, because I, I, when I say purpose, it seems like the life purpose and that is daunting. So I want, we want to keep it simple. Okay. A man without a purpose or a goal is like a ship without a rudder. Reactive, wherever the wind blows, that's where you go. Okay. Well, over here, come show me this house right now. Oh, I got an email. I got to respond right now. Somebody's calling. I got to answer this call. That's not a million dollar a year job. Uh-uh. And here's another danger. Okay. If you don't have a, something you want to achieve that you really, 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 really want, you could be very gullible gullible easily i actually <laughs> i looked up the definition of that word easily swayed that's not what the definition was but that's what i made you know I, I read the definition and then i wrote this down easily swayed by shiny objects oh well this is how you can make money in real estate let's do videos for social media uh give me a thousand dollars a month or five thousand or ten thousand i'll give you a bunch of leads and we'll do the, we got this system and we got that easily swayed and the last point number 12 commit to commit yourself to lifelong learning this is a quote from Brian Tracy. I'm going to start again. Commit yourself to lifelong learning. The most valuable asset you'll ever have is your mind and what you put into it. Mindset is everything. The most valuable asset. And as I said in the very beginning of this webinar, this market domination, this million dollar a year job, it's going to require you changing your behavior. And to change your behavior, you have to change your thinking. So you have to do what Brian Tracy talks about here. You have to work daily, not once in a while, it's daily, to develop the skills and the mindset that will outlive any real estate market anywhere. And I mean... <laughs> I, I wrote down, spend at least one hour per day improving your skills. 
and another hour strengthening your mindset. The mindset stuff, it's got to be bombarded 24 7. An hour a day is not going to be enough. And there's a quote from Zig Ziglar, and I'm going to paraphrase it, okay? Um, your mindset, I think the actual quote uses the word motivation. Motivation doesn't last. That's why it's like taking a shower. You got to do it every day. Yeah, you know it, Jay. So yeah, mindset. Mo motivation, first of all, is external. Motivation doesn't last. It's external. Yeah, you, you're, you're watching this webinar and maybe you got motivated here. And then as soon as this webinar is done and, and you go back to your activities of the day, the motivation that you got here is gone, okay? It gets just swept away. Like five minutes later, you're like, okay, what webinar? I have no idea what she said. I don't remember anything. Now you're back to the same, same, th same thing. Motivation is external. Now to stay motivated and inspired, you got to work on it every day. Because like I said, was one of the points. By If you don't work at it by bombarding your brain with power of positive motivation, inspirational stuff, by default, your, your brain is being bombarded by negative stuff. And now this, is, this ties so beautifully in with the point that I was just uh, the one right above, point number 11, which is you got to figure out what you want. And it's got to be, I don't care how big, small, it doesn't matter, okay? It's your goal, not mine, not anybody else's. Nobody's to judge or say it's good, it's too much. Why do you need that? It's your goal. It's your life. It's your business. You choose. But this ties into the working on yourself it's a lifelong learning commitment always getting better because the having that burning desire to achieve something that's gonna drive you drive is internal david goggins talks about this too motivation is external we all know that you've all attended this webinar, many webinars, you go watch stuff on YouTube, you go to an event, you attend a class, you do some training, coaching, whatever. And in that moment, you're like fired up. And then as soon as it's over, back to where things were, temporary. Now the drive, that burning desire to achieve something that you have, ooh, that's, that's the fire that's going to get you to do whatever you're supposed to do on the days when you don't feel like it, which is, by the way, the common denominator of success, according to Albert Gray. Doing what you are supposed to do on the days when you don't feel like it, uncomfortable, you know, it, it, everything ties in together. You could see it. So I want to end by... I uh, didn't quite take an hour, but we're good. I said everything I had to say. Um, I want to take you back to something I said a few times throughout this webinar today. Your mindset and your skills are yours forever in any market, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. You take yourself with it. Wherever, whatever happens out there, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what's going on up here. And you have, look, I said in the beginning and I'll repeat, I don't know you personally, your life situation, your life story, your circumstances. I don't know. I don't want to know because it doesn't matter. And without knowing any of it, I know with 100% certainty that every single one of you can dominate your market, can set one qualified listing appointment per day, can take four or five listings a week, can sell hundreds of homes a year, can make a million dollars. I know, I know, I know, I know. And some of you, you're, you're listening to this thing, you know, but you don't know what's going on with me. You don't know what my life, and you don't know what problems I have. Life happens to everyone. I don't know. You don't know me either. You don't know my, you don't know 
my life now. You don't know where I was when I started in real estate. And I had plenty of bots, but this, but that, but that, like everyone, okay? I had just about, <laughs> and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're going to spend your time, I mean, just looking for evidence of why it's not going to work for you. Guess what? It's just like, you're going to find it. That's how the brain works. If you're looking for evidence and reasons why this is not going to work for you, okay, good. You know, that, 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 then that's what you got. That's what's going to be. And if you want to look for reasons why you will and evidence that, you know what, if she can do it, I can do it. Believe me, if I can do it, you can do it, okay? We're not going to go into that story right now, but just trust me on this, okay? I did it with hard work, okay? It was not easy. It was hard work, determination. The, every moment of every effort of everything that I've ever done to get where I am in real estate, it's like the single best thing I've ever done. Not only because it changed my finances because I was broke and I have no college degree or no nothing, but it changed who I am. Like who I am as a person forever. And this is why I say your mindset, your skills are yours forever. And you're no longer going to be controlled by what's happening out there. When you're the source, you are in control. That's a wrap for today, everybody. So I'm going to say it again. If you're on YouTube, because this is on YouTube, you might be here. Subscribe to the channel because I'm posting videos every day now. Um, or if you're just here, here, and you want to watch this again, go on YouTube, look for Jackie Kravitz. There are a lot of other videos on the channel that I think you will enjoy. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day. Take care, everybody. One qualified listing appointment per day. That's market domination, million dollar job right there. For you, Jay, whoo. That's like a few million dollars a year for some of you, much higher average commission. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks.